route. I got. Let me know when we're on. Hey YouTube, first test drive in our car and I just got the engine top of it rebuilt. All I gotta do today is just put a bit of JB Weld on the CV joint because it had a little tiny cut in it, but it ain't bad. You can still drive it. I just gotta patch that hole up. Just a little tiny hole. But I just had to take the front wheel off to fix the vacuum plate quickly because where we it was bent all to hell because where we had to knock those bearings out on the driver's side. This is the first test ride ever. This was a surprise video. My dad's gonna take us down right now down the street to the gas station to get fuel. <laughs> um this is our first test drive guys and 16 videos online of the car repair site so the last one you got right there. and yeah guys he did get insurance on it today yep he he not go with the one that he mentioned that he was gonna go it's with it's gonna run me like 70 some a month for insurance and only eight about, to start it. about 7 night 72 19 then going down to 7218. Yeah. But it's to come without insurance. It, with ten thousand dollar accidental death and roadside. <laughs> That's why I ran a little bit more because I had to pay an extra twelve for the damn roadside. <laughs> and I tell you what, guys. Enjoy this video for you guys, man. It's giving me chills up my ass crack because right now, since last year to this year, was a tear down and rebuild procedure. Yeah, you'll probably hear a little squeaking and all that in the front, but that's from the heat, the bearing, the different things trying to get broken in. But as long as it runs, I don't care because you don't really hear much out of it. I got the exhaust done last night. There are 16 videos up mm -hmm. of me working on my car. And then I had a few up last year of 2022, tearing it down, get ready to start the rebuild of spring of 2023, which we're in right now. And it's Sunday. Um, That is supposed to be a nug, um storage unit kind of thing, I we're think. We're gonna go down and get gas and stuff, but I'm telling you guys, <laughs> Finally got this on the road. Woo, woo. You guys need any car repairs done? Nothing too big or small for me. I could do transmissions, engine diagnostics, computer diagnostics, anything from engines to transmission to brakes to exhaust. Still got a little rubbing, but not bad. It's on this side. I'll fix that side, but not that bad. Just a little dab of rubbing. Um, it's on my side. Go to number three. Three. All right. Let me get around this way. And a little bit on that side, so. All right. You still got a little bit rubbing. Okay, right, number three, then. Yep. yep. Let me have a phone. We just got to fix that little bit of rubbing, but that ain't no big deal. There's still a little bit on each side, but not much. Well, it ain't on this side, it's front driver. But I'm getting ready to put this Marvel's Mystery Oil in. I did half of a bottle in the oil initially when I got the engine done. At least he's going to dump the other half in the gas. It's good shit. I've used it for years. But as you can tell... We're at the gas station right now here at Marathon. My dad's going in right now to pay. All right, let me try to get the trunk release here. It's right under your thing, babe. All right, let me get situated. It's right under your cup thing right oh, there. Oh, yeah, I didn't quite see it. It's that much right. But... We're on our first test ride in the 1997 Chevy White Malibu with a 3.1 V6 liter engine four-door. See right there is the gas pumps. There we are, guys. Here I am. Hi, guys. There's Lacey getting in a trunk for my damn funnel for the Marvel's Mystery Oil. That's all I... Ever using the tank in your load? 
If you dump it, just dump like, get a big, huge bottle of it. Dump half in your oil and every oil change and around every couple, two, three months, maybe dump it in your gas. That cleans out your lifters, everything, your injectors and all. And there's dad right there. But anyhow, guys, thanks for watching and thanks for all your guys' support and my videos and redoing this car. I was able to get a, a second chance on the road without seeing a junkyard or should I say a damn boneyard. Um, believe me, guys, I didn't think I'd be driving this car right now. Um... I was hoping to have it done first part of May, but it's almost the end of May, but I got it done before June, you know, so. Um, right here on my seat, Lacey. But, get my phone in my thing. I'm filming. But anyhow, guys, there's Lacey. Uh, as you can hear the damn motorcycles and shit right there's bio life the blood the plasma place where you can donate plasma for money if you ain't got no health issues which I don't like needles so I wouldn't be for me and I got health issues so I couldn't go in there Lacey couldn't go in there dad or mom but anyhow well Ben we're next to the car wash here at the marathon um so, and it's called the 5K Carry Out Marathon, as you can see. But anyhow, guys, I will upload um, this video. Just slide up for me. I'm sliding up for Lacey. Yeah. It misses a little bit, but. That's because I don't know if it's bad gas or what, but I'll have to check all that later. But at least we got a car that's on the road, guys. It being a 97, it ain't going to be in real perfect shape or anything. But, um, yeah, as you can see, we pulled forward right there. Um, but anyhow, guys, I will upload this video. But last night's welding video was the last 16th one. Because there's two parts to that. Then we did an antifreeze test. Drain and refill. Flush and refill. Then I had an exhaust video up. Putting everything together. Showing you how to do it. Then the second part of that. First part was a welding. And that was the last 16th video. Plus a few from last year. From tear down a little bit. And then this year. The rebuilding of the top part of the engine. But I'm out. See you on the flip side. Bye, guys.